Hey everyone, I finished listening to Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, and of course I loved it. But I don't think we need another raving review about this book, because we all know how amazing it is. Instead, I want to talk about the world that Ernest Klein created, because I think that the world building is one of the strongest points of this novel and what we all like about it. If you haven't read it yet, the novel is set in 2044, and the world is pretty run down and out of resources. So most of the people work and spend most of their time in a virtual reality simulation, the Oasis. Now, Ernest Klein is not the first one to create such a world and he's not the first one to use it to criticize society. But I do think that his world, the Oasis, is a very appealing one, and especially for us here on YouTube. While listening to the book, it constantly fascinated me how much time he spent on describing and developing the world. And also it struck me that it was particularly designed to appeal to us here on the internet, because the world in the book is similar to ours. We spend a lot of time on the internet talking to people we have never met, feeling very comfortable and at home there. Just like the main character who at one point admits that in real life he really has problem connecting to people, talking with people and just making friends. Whereas on the Oasis he's just more confident and feels more at home. The Oasis also offers the opportunity to be whoever you want to be. Gender, race and appearance became somewhat irrelevant in this world because no one knows who you really are. They only see your avatar and you could have the avatar of a 20-something supermodel or a pink unicorn while being a fat old man in a chair. This concept is played upon multiple times throughout the novel, both showing positive and negative sides of this. The positive aspects deal with the chances for true equality, whereas the negative aspects deal with stranger danger and betrayal. Another thing I found highly intriguing was how aware our main character was of his lack of interaction with real people, with the real world in general, and also the effect this being online all the time, just sitting, had on his body, his health and his physical appearance. I really liked the idea when he connected his Oasis account to a sports and nutrition program, meaning he could not log on if he neglected his body and health. And I think this is really something that we could already use today to prevent society from obesity. Another thing I found rather worrying was the degree to which the people identified with their avatars. The life on the Oasis had all criteria of real life. People who had never met in real life got married, started families, and the death of an avatar was felt and acknowledged like the person had seemed to exist, and not just their online avatar with all the levels and experience points. It was rather worrying how much everybody acknowledged the sacrifice of an avatar. What I really appreciated about this novel was that while it glorifies the opportunity such a world could offer us, it also points out how important it is to have real life interactions and talk to real people and touch people and really be in the real world. This novel also raises a question. Is there a connection between the success of the Oasis and the decline and status of the real world? What do you think? Thank you all for watching and let's talk about the world of Ready Player One. Bye bye.